it takes so fucking long to become someone different. You have to fucking fight for it every day. And you habitually construct the person you want. You can do whatever the fuck you want. As long as during times of adversity, your self-talk matches who you want to be on the other end. If during a workout, you're a whiny bitch in the middle, you're going to be a whiny ass bitch. If during a lockdown for a fucking year, you're saying, good motherfucker, you can't break me. Nothing's going to break you. As long as your actions and your self-talk are aligned with what the fuck you want. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most I done woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it looked like real quick, man. You know, the sun is up. You know what I mean? If you're looking at that, I want y'all to understand that you're big blessed and you're winning out here. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you get out there, bruh, and get to it. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. But, uh, you know, I just got a good workout in at this gym, man. And sometimes you just can't help but to notice, you know, people and how they look. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just the energy that comes from them. And you can just tell, like, you know, you know, there's quite a few people that's in there that just don't want to be there. You know what I'm saying? And I can understand that. I understand that, you know, to the fullest. You know, a lot of these things you just don't want to do. You know, you don't want to be at the gym this early. You don't want to be on semen retention. You don't want to have to go to work. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have responsibilities as a man, as a parent, you know, all of that shit. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. This is what must be done you know what i mean in order for us to elevate in order for us to be where we get where we want to be at in life you know otherwise we just gonna we just gonna drown we just gonna be where other people want us to be at in life no matter how bad it is you know what i'm saying so you know the last thing we need to be doing is playing into the enemy's hands playing into the devil's hands playing into the elite's hands and all of that shit bro so we gotta be here getting our health right you know what i mean we gotta be doing things to get our mind right you know we gotta do things that get our energy right our vibration up you know what i mean our frequency up our consciousness up you know, otherwise, you know, we just gonna lose. Otherwise, we gonna drown. Otherwise, we gonna be lost. Otherwise, we open ourselves up for demonic energy and we just don't wanna do that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, man, you gotta pick and choose what it is you want out of, your, out of this life. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, you may not wanna do things that you have to do. You may not wanna do that, but you gotta do it. You know, no matter what, bro, you may, you know, you you might not want to go to work, but guess what, bro? If you don't work, you don't eat. You know what I mean? You may not want to have to go to the gym, but guess what, bro, man? Listen, dog, you know, you want to keep your, you want to keep your energy up. You want to keep your, your body in shape. You know, you want to keep your organs working. You want to get your cardio right. You know, because there's a lot of motherfuckers that's out here, bro. They got all the muscles in the world, but they breathing is jacked up. You know, so it's just like, man, you know, you just it's 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 always something for us to work on. It's always something for us to get better at. And I just think a lot of people go wrong with, you know, just just wanting things handed to them. You know, that plays a big part in why people don't just get up and do what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? Because they just want shit handed to them, you know, and they don't want to put in the work for it. So, you know, they just going, you know, they just going to say fuck it all together. But, you know, when they whine about shit, when they don't get the results, like, OK, you know, you can't really blame nobody or really be whining if 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 you don't want to do what it takes to get your health right. You know who you going to bitch to. You want to eat how you want to eat. You want to live how you want to live and then think that it ain't no consequences that you have to pay for those actions, man. And just in life just don't work like that, bro. You know what I mean? It's like I always tell y'all, man, it got to be some 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 real give and take out this motherfucker. I don't just say that shit for my for my health, bro. You know what I mean? We all be doing shit that that we don't want to do, but we know we got to do it because listen, the consequences can be grave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The consequences can be grave if we don't do what needs to be done, bro. You know what I mean? And it's just like, man, you know, when you understand that, you be like, ah, let me get my ass up. Let me do what I need to do. Let me do some hard shit. You know what I mean? 
and we just embrace we you you start to embrace that shit you know and and and, and, and like i say man when you just start doing a lot of hard shit things a lot more things in your life become easier you be like man that's nothing you know what i'm saying you be like yo you know what i mean you do so much hard shit on a daily basis especially being on this type of journey especially you know what i mean doing things to keep your energy up bro listen dog this shit not easy you know it's not easy to stay away from things that 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 just you know that that's bad for you but tastes so good you know, it's not easy to stay away from shit that feels so good, but you know that it's just draining you of your power, draining you of your masculine energy, draining you of who you are. It's tough. You know what I'm saying? But you still do it. You still do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when any other obstacle come in your way, bro, like you just, it ain't go, it's just going to be small to you. It ain't going to be shit for you to just go ahead and stump on that shit, run over that shit. You gonna run right over it like like it was nothing, bro. You know because you're not always letting your emotions and being in your feelings like you know you're not letting that shit get to you. You're not letting that make your decisions, and that's the problem, bro. A lot of motherfuckers be letting they feelings and emotions make decisions for them. You know what I mean? And then later on, want to cry about it and realize like, man, I shouldn't have did that. No, you shouldn't have did it. You should have just got your ass up. You should have just did what needed to be done. Needed to be done. You should have just stayed away from certain people. You should have stayed out of that out of that chick's inbox. You know what I mean? You should have stayed out of that vagina. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 you know, but man, you know, you gotta pay the consequences for that, man. You know, it's hard. It's hard to say no, bro. But you really do gotta be sacrificing something out here, man. You know that shit. It's just not. It's, 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 it's not worth it, bro. And, and, the, and the prize is a lot bigger when you can stay disciplined. Real talk. The prize is a lot bigger and better when you can stay disciplined. You know what I mean? Because we see what happened to the motherfuckers that can't stay disciplined. That's always giving in, bro. Always giving in. You know what I mean? You know, they just, they, 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 they weak. And I'm not choosing weakness, bro. You can't choose weakness, man. Don't choose weakness. I'm here to tell you, don't choose weakness. Because a lot of motherfuckers gonna try to look at you and try to be like, oh, you know what I mean? They gonna look, they gonna, the good things that's working for you in your life, they gonna perceive that as being weak. Like, okay, you know, because I don't eat a lot of meat no more, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm staying away from drugs, because I drink more water, because I'm on semen retention, because I don't watch pornography, that makes me weak, you know, that makes me lame, that makes me crazy, that makes, what, what, but I'm supposed to be like you, yeah, <laughs> and that's what they want, bro, they want you to be like them, knowing they miserable, because if they wasn't miserable, bro, they wouldn't be trying to judge you on what you do. If they see something working for you, they'll be congratulating you because things is working for them in their life. You know what I'm saying? Things is all good. But it's just kind of crazy how the ones who out here who proclaim to be living their best life, proclaim to just be so, you know, financially stable, proclaim to have, you know, all of the women in abundance and all of that shit, them be the, the most miserable. Them be the ones that's all in everybody else's business. Them be the ones that try to tell you how to live. And it be like, what? How? How? What? You wouldn't even, like, if life was so great for you, bro, you wouldn't even be, you know, all in everybody else's shit. You wouldn't be so toxic. You wouldn't have all this bullshit going on in your life. You know? But in order to mask that, in order to cover that up, you know, you just distract yourself by being in other people's shit, trying to tell them what they should do with their life, trying to tell them what they should do with their energy, trying to tell them what they should do in their relationships, trying to tell them what they should do with their money. You know what I'm saying? Trying to tell them what they should do with their time. But you spending all your time trying to talk to me and tell me what to do. And, 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 and what a lot of people don't realize is that motherfuckers just trying to control their mind and that and then control their energy. They want to control everything about you so they can use that to their advantage. 
See, but when you blind, you don't see that. I didn't have that happen. I didn't have that happen where a motherfucker make you feel some type of way about everything that you do that make you feel right. And see, understand that when you not in tune with yourself, you going to fall for those tricks. You're not going to follow your intuition and follow what's right for you. You're going to follow their plan. Like I said, that's why it's so important to be in tune with yourself because you're going to be like, fuck you. You're going to tell a motherfucker, fuck you quick. You know what I'm saying? You're going to tell a motherfucker, fuck you quick. You know what I mean? Because you 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 know what's working for you. But when you don't know you, bro, you're going to get to thinking like, man, you know, maybe this semen retention shit ain't doing nothing for me. Damn, maybe going to the gym ain't doing nothing for me. Damn, maybe uh, this uh, meditation that I'm doing and, you know, showing gratitude to the most high ain't doing nothing for me. Damn, you know, embracing my masculine energy, maybe that ain't doing nothing for me. Damn, you know, protecting my energy, maybe that shit ain't doing nothing for me. Damn, you know what I mean? Being cautious of what I put in my body, maybe that shit ain't doing nothing for me. Damn. Maybe getting sober out here, you know, and and and, and, and you know, enjoying my uh, my peace ain't doing nothing for me, bro. You know, you if you you get the you let them demons get in your ear, or people that's in, that's infiltrated by demonic energy and toxicity. Listen, bro, they gonna talk you out of everything that you're doing that's right for you. That's right for you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, yo, you know, it's a lot of lost people that they missed out on a lot because they allowed that shit to happen in their life, bro. Don't don't let that shit be you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because tricks are for kids out this bitch. Real talk. You know, and you got a lot of trickery that's going on in this world. So people can keep you locked in. You know what I mean? They want to keep you boxed and locked in. They want to keep you, you know what I'm saying? They want to keep you giving to the flesh just like them. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to always be inviting you out to eat. You know, they're going to always be trying to show you celebrity gossip. You know, they're going to always try to keep a bottle or a blunt in your face. They're going to always be trying to talk you out of shit, trying to call you names, tell you what you're doing is lame. They're going to be on all that shit, bro. But what you got to understand, bro, is all of that hard stuff you're doing right now. All of these places where you at, where you don't feel like being at, is making you better. It's making you better. You got to pick and choose. Do you want to get better or you want to be with the rest of motherfuckers getting worse? Which one you want, bro? Because we can sit there and cry about having to get up in the morning all day. We can sit there and cry about having to go to the gym all day. We can sit there and cry about having to take our ass to work all day. We can sit there and cry about our our, our labs and blood levels and all of, and our health all day. But what's that gonna do for you, bro? You could do that shit all day. There's people that do that shit all day and take no action. Now I don't give a fuck. If you whine about something, it's like, you know what, whatever. But don't let that trigger you into not doing what you need to do. You can cry about it. Go ahead. Get it off your chest. Bro. Get, get it off your chest. Because you know what? I In my mind, I be whining all the time on my way to the gym, on my way to the money, on my way to high energy. On my way to a high vibration. On my way to abundance. On my way to a better life. On my way to better health. On my way to the good graces of the most high God. Gotta do what I gotta do. And guess what? I feel good doing it. I feel good doing it. It don't matter what he say, she say, they say, them motherfuckers say. Don't matter. It don't matter. It's all about you, all right? So make sure you take care of you, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. All day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What I do ain't a facade, this is RJ. This is RJ. Uh, RJ.
Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. I'ma hit it.